According to historical norms, a traditional marriage is a requirement in establishing a family irrespective of one's status. Thank you for accepting to love the way I am. Agnes Linda Wuma, the daughter of the late chief of staff David Oyito Jok, also the woman MP for Lirad district, convened the clan of Ateka Ngulu to receive her soulmate. Peter Ojuru, who lost in the previous mayoral race for Soroti City, was in Loro to deliver the bright prize for the love of his life. The ceremony was graced by the deputy speaker of parliament, Thomas Tayebua. Linda was introduced to me by his excellence the president when I was the chief whip as one of his most trusted Kajas, our country has reconciled to the extent that the daughter of the late General Oito Jok is president of the most trusted Kada. Thank you so much. The multi-million event brought together several members of parliament and government officials as spirit. Tayebwa urged members to embrace even in delivering services to the people. You can see from the number of MPs who are here. Nenga, nenga. These MPs have formed a stronger team from opposition to NRM. I hope you don't plan to interfere with this team because it's a winning team and it's a team which is going to deliver for Lango. <laughs> Meanwhile, the chairperson Lama parliamentary group, Judith Alieka, expressed bitterness over the manner in which teenage girls are being married off in the watch of their parents. Aliek called on Ugandan parents to prepare their daughters early to make the lifelong commitment. Uh, they drop out of school and then they marry problems, they marry challenges. And this is what we are talking about. We avoid domestic violence, we avoid child marriage. We avoid uh, killing uh, of the spouses. Even uh, in Ilango here, uh, women are killing men and some men are also killing women as a result of domestic violence. This is something that we should avoid. Marriage is a cornerstone of a stable society, but the decision of who and when to marry is what many are still grappling with. Edi Ulua, UBC News.